Giddy up. Jennifer's in Vizima. Got a few friends there, so... Something wrong? Look around. Trouble brewing. Who are they? Patriots. Drinking their seventh round for Tamaria. Fists starting to itch. Don't see any enough guardians. They'll find another foe. I'll buy some provisions for the journey. Then we'll go. Geralt. We should stay out of it. Just this once. What happened to the lilies? Took them down. Took them down? To hang a golden sun there now? I cannot show Temerian colours. They'll come and burn the tavern down. Maybe it's true what they say. You fond of the Imperials? You Nilfgaard's whore? I'll let that pass. I know grief eats at your heart. I don't know shit. They hang my sister, dragged her out of the cloister like a dog. Said Nilfgaard's no place for superstition. That they don't fear the wrath of the gods. And you, do you fear it? If not for Annie, your child would have choked on its navel string. You owe your son to Let my sister go. attending to the no. birth. And you don't oh. fear the gods' wrath. You don't oh. fear it, you cunt! Is this medallion? You know what it means. Back off. You all right? They say witches steal young'uns. That's true. What the Emperor promise you, freaks? Your own land, like he did the elves once. Get out, all of you. We ain't going nowhere. And neither are you. They won't back down now. I can see that. Oh, this shit. It's all right. It's over. See his face. God save us. Be gone. And don't ever come back. <laughs> so much for not getting involved. Come on, let's go. That brawl, we didn't start it. Excuses, excuses. You've not changed a bit. Y Yen? How? I received a report about a witcher who'd appeared in White Orchard. I knew it was you, looking for me. I might have waited until you found me, but... Well, you know me. Patience has never been my strong suit. It's... Good to see you, Geralt. I... I'd even embrace you. Were you not covered in blood? Sorry. I wasn't expecting to see you. To be honest, this isn't at all how I imagined we'd meet. How did you imagine it? You didn't imagine you'd have a Nilfgaardian escort. Don't get me wrong, Yennefer. I'm glad to see you. But I do think you owe us an explanation. And I shall provide it. In Vizima. Ready your horses. We can talk here. Some charming orchards nearby. 
In bloom even, so you almost can't smell the corpses. A tempting proposition. Sadly, I must say no. You see, someone awaits you in Vizima. Someone who doesn't like to be kept waiting. Emperor Emir Var Emrys. Or, to those on more intimate terms with him, the white flame dancing on the graves of his foes. Doubt I number among that group. For as I remember, last time we saw each other, he wanted to kill me. Well, now he wishes to make you an offer. The kind one can't refuse. I didn't, though I could have. Must have been a damn good offer then. Not many things you'd give up your freedom for, and even fewer people. The sooner we set off, the sooner you'll find out. What about you? I'm going in the opposite direction. I somehow doubt the Emperor's invitation mentioned me. Besides, I've got things to do at Kaermor, remember? Yeah, I remember. Thanks for your help, Vesemir. See you soon. How's your horse? Swift? Can't complain. Why do you ask? I'd like to be back behind some thick city walls as soon as possible. Knowing you, it was probably filthy. Just the beginning. But then... But then... <sighs> This bard's tale begins near White Orchard, with my dear friend Geralt of Rivia seeking his lover of yore, the sorceress Yennefer. She'd eluded him for years, but now seemed just a few steps ahead. After many trials and tribulations, Geralt finally learned that Yen was in nearby Vizima. <laughs> It must suffice. Think of your cares if I'm clean. The gentleman will refer to his Imperial Majesty by his full title or not at all. The gentleman will be seated on the bergère. The what now? In that chair. Tatwin. We shave the gentleman's sideburns to half an inch.
What's wrong with my beard? Always thought it added to my dignity. It does. Yet it also detracts from your elegance. In Nilfgaard, we consider beards hard on the eyes. Especially beards infested with lice. Been on the road a while. Fine. Do your thing. Tilt your head back, please. And sit still. How goes it? Preparations for the audience proceeding as planned. Yes, General. The gentleman will be more or less presentable. Who's this guy? He a barber too? No. Morvran Voris, commander of the Alba Division. Yennefer's escort. They were my men, all of them. Indeed, were. For none have returned to Vizima, have they? I truly wonder what happened on the road yesterday. Perhaps you could enlighten me. You have time. And a uh, razor to your throat. Wild Hunt killed them. A cavalcade of wraiths dashing across the night sky. These omens of war the peasantry bubbles about. <laughs> Expect me to believe that. Frankly, I don't really give a damn. Nordlings, we can bathe you, shave you, and clothe you, but teaching you manners, that will be a challenge. Nice meeting you too. Done. Shall I shave him once more, against the grain? No. He himself is very much against the grain, that's enough. Farewell, Witcher. Or rather, see you soon. Good. Now the gentleman may dress. Sadly, I did not receive exact measurements. If the garments chafe, our tailor will adjust them. Where are my clothes? Where they should have gone long ago, with the laundress. They will be returned to you after the audience, clean and starched. The gentleman will tell me once he has chosen an outfit. This might come as news to the gentleman, but the tone. Around one's waist is not fitting attire for an audience. The gentleman will kindly dress. Hmm. A touch tight in the waist, but it will do. Does the outfit satisfy the gentleman? A studded doublet and a sword on my back, that's what would satisfy me. But tough, when in Nilfgaard. Yes. It's a saying. So what now? Powder my nose? No need. The gentleman's complexion is light enough. The gentleman is to stand before the ruler of the North and South. I must confirm that he knows how to bow. I'm not some boar. I know how to bow. Please, demonstrate. That, sir, is how you might bow to a whore on a street corner. Not to the Emperor of Nilfgaard. Please watch. Leg extended. Hand flat. Head down. Chin to chest. The gentleman will rehearse.
Please, this is neither the time nor the place for such antics. The gentleman will watch carefully. Leg extended, hand flat, head down, chin to chest. The gentleman will rehearse. Wrong, wrong, wrong. Once more. Leg extended, hand flat, head down, chin to chest. The gentleman will rehearse. Hmm, lacking fluidity and grace. But we've learned to expect less of Nordlings. Come with me. The gentleman will address the Emperor only when asked to, and using the appropriate type. Your Arch Magnificency. I see the gentleman is in the mood for jests. I fear the Emperor might not share his disposition. Your Majesty will suffice. Spoken loudly, clearly, and with respect. Your Imperial Majesty. Arer ep do orde. Avelian Namim, what can favor? I thought you bowed before no man. Didn't want to disappoint the Chamberlain. We're friends. Take it you didn't summon me to reminisce about the good old days, so... Silence. My daughter Cyrilla, she's returned. And she's in danger. The wild hunt pursues her. You will find her and bring her to me. How many men in your army? Twenty thousand? Thirty? So why me? You know why. Because she trusts you. She trusts me, yes. So tell me why you are looking for her. Doubt it's about making up for all those lost years. For reasons of state, as always. Enough of this banter. You will agree regardless. If for no other reason than because I shall pay you. More than you customarily receive for a contract. Considerably more. Save your generosity for those whose homes your armies have raised. I'll do it for Ciri, not for your gold. Your motives do not interest me. Only results. Yennefer will tell you the rest. This audience is finished. Meririd! Take him to the sorceress. Follow me, if the gentleman pleases. Please keep close. There are many honorable guests in the palace, whom the gentleman... Disgusts. ...need not bother. First thing in the morning, and it's Need past me noon. Calm yourself. What? what? Do you know who you're talking to, soldier? I'm Herivard, the second prince of Elanda. Not only are they to wait here like some Nein. supplicant. Rad sliden e enekt es tun es saur am nein. Es is an efsa. 
A deserter from the Skoyan Once the gentleman is done, he should see me to retrieve his possessions. That quill sharpened yet? Yes? Then transcribe. The true authority in Novigrad is not the city council or the merchant's guild. Geralt, that tunic, you look positively smashing. Ugh, dying to take it off. I'd consider that a proposition under different circumstances. One I might even take you up on. But we've matters to attend to. Now do you understand why I'm at Amir's court? Mm-hmm. And seems we're in the same boat now. Siri, she's really back? No chance he's mistaken? Look, that's more or less what she looks like now, or so our agents claim. Our little witch has grown into a young lady. How about that? She's grown up? It's been years since you trained together at Kaer Morn. A great deal has changed. You haven't. Not a bit. I missed those awkward compliments of yours. But let's focus on Ciri, all right? Right. Amir said the wild hunts after her. I'd find that hard to believe before what happened yesterday. How did they track us down? Because of me. You see, I've spent months searching for Ciri, using locating spells, haruspicy, geomancy, anything, really. I knew the Wild Hunt might sense it, perhaps even find me, but I thought I'd trick them. Well, guess you were wrong. Hmm. I've sensed them on my trail, hunting me, for some time. If not for you and Amir's soldiers, they'd have gotten what they were after. I can't risk another encounter like that. It's time to put away the magic, turn to more traditional methods. To the best tracker I know. You must find her, Geralt, before the Wild Hunt does. So where's Ciri been seen, exactly? In two places, Velen and Novigrad. The trail in Velen is most promising. You should make that your first stop. Ask for a merchant named Hendrik at the inn at the crossroads. One of the Emperor's agents. He should get in touch with you. That's it? No passwords? Secret handshakes? None. Sorry to spoil your fun, your boyhood fantasies about the crafts of the trade. All we have in Novigrad are unconformed reports, rumors, but there you will have the help of our mutual acquaintance. Triss Merigold. Apparently she's got a cozy flat on the main square. Sure she'll be delighted to see me. What about you? What will you do? I shall sail for Skellige. There was a magic explosion there recently, blew half a forest down. I believe this had something to do with Ciri. I'll be in care trolled. Join me there once you've learned something. Guess this means we need to split up again. Not my preference, but I understand. Clock's ticking. It is indeed. So why don't I teleport you to Vell and get you there at once? Not gonna happen. I'll go on horseback, as soon as I can get changed. Have it your way? Oh, and... You really look quite dashing in black velvet. Think so? Maybe I can have some of my armor lined with it. <laughs> Good luck, Yen. Same to you. And if you wish to learn what's happened in the world while you and Vesemir roam the wilderness, talk to Ambassador Vartra. That's him over there. And Geralt. I know it's wartime, but try not to be a hero, all right? Just check those leads and come back to me, in one piece. I shall be waiting. A 
shame I have to How might I serve the gentleman? By returning my things. Citrus and cloves. The fragrance will keep the gentleman's robes fresh somewhat longer. Hmm. Thanks, Bunches. The Emperor is not known for his patience. He wants his daughter back safe and sound, as soon as possible. Yeah, mention something of the sort. So long. One false move and you will regret it. Geralt and Yennefer were reunited, but something even more important happened in Vizima. Geralt learned that Cirilla, his one-time ward, had returned from afar, and she was in danger. He was to find her at the Emperor's command and Yennefer's behest.
can't bind me before the next ones come. When they come, I'll tend to them. Meanwhile, let's you and me chat. Like to know who I'm untying. John Verdon. Served in the 10th Maribor Division. Long way from your army. The army don't exist no more. Black one smashed it to bits. I scarped off into the woods just before that happened. Join a group of refugees, fucking bursting with patriotism they were. As soon as they learned I'd abandoned Tamaria in her hour of need, they beat me down. Tied me up like a turkey, left me to the drowners. Fine, I'll help. Oh, thanks. For a minute there, I was almost sure you'd leave me to die. I'd like to thank you somehow, but I've not a chip crown to my name. Tough. I'll take the loss. Thanks, Witcher. May you prosper on the path. Strangers coming! Run for your lives! Hear us squealing? They'll kill us and take her all the same! So I'll slaughter her myself. Hide her corpse neath the floorboards. Those bastards won't have her! Looking for a man. Goes by Hendrik. What do you want with him? Want to talk to him. What about? Give me a bottle of something strong. You gotta go. I'll open the back way for you. Haven't finished my drink yet. In Cape, vodka. Who's this a brave warrior looks like? Got two swords, see? Oi! Great boy! What's the point of having two swords? Wonder if he keeps an extra prick in his trousers too. You fucking deaf! Gonna say who you are? Or do I need to loosen your tongue with me knife? Someone who'd prefer not to be bothered while he's having a drink. <laughs> Hear that? We've a distinguished gentleman in our midst. Shine your boots, governor. No. Wouldn't want the grime in your hands to rub off on them. Bolo, did you hear what I heard? Go away, or I'll kill you. Damn it. Enough. Round behind! How damage! Help! Kill him! Have you any idea what the Baron will do when he learns of this? Butchery? The village! He'll tear it apart before anyone can say it was some wandering mutant done it! An iron fist he's got! Where's Hendrik? You deaf! Understand what I'm saying? Baron won't let this stand! Calm down. 
Your Baron's no idiot. Seriously doubt he'll think you locals cut his men down with farming implements. Now where's Hendrik? Man lives in Heatherton. Don't know where that is. Other side of the hill. Looked that away this morning and saw a strange glow. Imperials on the raid, perhaps. But who knows? Anything else you can tell me about Hendrik? Odd fellow. Arrived from who knows where and for no apparent reason. Shacked up with a widow whose husband was stabbed for a scrap of bread. Baron's men don't like strangers. Aye, he stays out of their way. Always seems to know when they're coming. Always manages to disappear. Thanks, Inkeep. Go out the back. More of the Baron's men in the village. No need to worry about me. I'd rather you not make any more trouble for yourself, for us both. Come on now. strange, like dropping into a deep cellar on a hot day, in the mist. Be whoever you is. Get away! Calm down. It's over. Aye. It's over. All's past, never to be restored. 
I'll not forget that ever. Looking for a man named Hendrik, supposed to live in this village. Aye, he did. No longer. They nabbed him in that hut. If you'd have heard the cries, sir. If you'd have heard how a man can scream. How he can suffer. Tell me what happened here, step by step. They took him. Took him all. The sun was waning, see? And the dusk went crimson like blood. Thought to myself, strange. The toads, I cannot hear them. He could do naught but moan. the terrors, yet the village froze like in the heart of winter. You in that hut when they rode off? No, and I'll not set foot there. Never. Farewell, and peace of mind to you. Him. Maybe they missed something. Should check his boots. Blood congealed. Key hidden in his boot. Gotta fit a keyhole. Somewhere nearby, hopefully. a draft. Gotta be a space under this rubble. Guess I should do some cleaning. Payment for a sack of grain. Amount due for a charcoal shipment. Hendrik was masquerading as a merchant. Hmm, what's this? Notes among the ledger entries. Clever.
interesting headings. Drunken swine. So-called baron hosted subject at his castle. Or should I say, illegally appropriated fort. Reason unknown. Talk to baron at Crow's Perch. Missing and wanted. Subject appeared in Skellige. Also sighted in Novigrad. Appearance unchanged. Ashen hair. Scar on her face. Avoids contact with others. Clashed with a witch. Subject landed in swamp. Encountered a witch. Conflict ensued. Cause unknown. Find the witch. Talk to the peasantry. Village of Midcops. Caution advised. I'm being observed. Don't know by whom or why. Unsettling signs. Dog ran off. Water in bucket froze solid. Strange glow observed in the sky. Ill omen, peasants say. Somehow they learned Hendrik was looking for Ciri. Thus the torture. I'm too late. My only leads, the Baron, and some witch. Damn.